Toon Boom Storyboard Pro keeps track of all of your individual drawings in terms of both scenes and then panels. And sometimes, if you choose to, it can even keep track of acts, if you have Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. It's easy for the storyboard artist to keep track of what the scene numbers are and what the panel numbers are by looking at the thumbnail drawings that run below the drawing view. You can see that this would be scene 1, panel 1 of 3, scene 1, panel 1, 2 of 3, scene 1, panel 3 of 3, but then here is a break between them. This is now scene 2, panel 1 of 3, scene 2, panel 2 of 3, etc. And you could have four panels, you could have 17 panels per scene. So no matter how many panels you have within this scene, it's going to still continue to be scene number 2. And between every scene is a little bit of a break. The third number that you see in this list is the actual duration of the fr of that particular frame in, in terms of uh, timing and animatics. So this represents, that's 120 frames. So that is the kind of item that you would change underneath the panel section and you have an option there of changing the duration of the panel. When you're looking at a lot of scenes and a lot of panels at one time, it's really helpful to use the view over here, which is the overview view. I'll tap on that and now you can see a lot more panels at one time. You can also enlarge and shrink these two by using the one key to shrink and the two key to make the thumbnails bigger. That's about as small as they get right there by pressing the one key, pressing the two key makes them bigger and then smaller. And there's two different tones here. Each scene is designated by alternating tones to help you keep track of them. But the default tones that the program starts with are a gray and a light gray. And it can be hard to tell the difference between those. So I'm going to show you how you can customize those colors very easily. To customize these colors and make them easier to see, you can go to the Edit and then Preferences. And within Preferences, you want to go to Global UI, which means Overall User Interface. And these are the boxes you're looking for. The Scene Group Box Color 1, because that's a Scene Group Box, and Scene Group Box Color 2, and that's the other one there. So to change those colors, all you need to do is double tap on it. You will get a new color picker. So I'm just going to pick some purple color so you can see it very easily. And then I will click OK. And so now the, the alternating colors of the scenes are this one with the purple background and a gray trim to a gray background with a purple trim. So you can easily now see how the scenes are alternating. And you can scroll down through here to see more and more scenes. It's a lot easier to keep track of. You can make those any color that you want. You'll notice that whatever panel I hit also has its own specific highlight color and you can adjust that highlight color as well. You can also use the tabs on the side of the interface to expand this thumbnail section if you'd like. There's a, a right pointing arrow and if you click on it it expands everything to the right and if I want to make those thumbnails smaller again I'll just press the number one to make them a little smaller or two to make them bigger. But now that I've done that I can see a lot more of my thumbnails. If I need to bring back those panels on the side I just tap this left facing arrow and it brings all of that back. So that's pretty convenient if you're working with a lot of different scenes and panels all at once. So here I have scene one, scene two, I have scene three with just one panel then scene four, two panels, scene five, two panels, etc. So let me show you first how you can add a new scene. 